Senpai. I'm sorry. I can't believe you overslept again. It's just like back in middle school. I'm sorry. I'm not your personal alarm clock, you know. You can't rely on me to wake you up every day. I'm sorry. If it bothers you so much, maybe we should stop walking to school together. No, that, that's not what I... Just forget it, okay? Anyway, I want you to meet me on the school rooftop at lunchtime. Got it? Huh? Why? Stop being so difficult! Just be there, alright? Don't keep me waiting. Okay, okay. I'll be there. Good! Um, Osana, don't you think you were a bit harsh? I know. I feel so bad about it. But I didn't do it on purpose. It just happened. Every time I think he's about to realize how I feel about him, I get afraid he'll reject me. It makes me feel so scared. I start saying stuff to make him think I don't like him. Why do I have to be this way? Why can't I just be honest with him? Don't beat yourself up over it, Osana. It'll be okay. Everything is going to work out fine. I sure hope so. Now that you met- I know that I lost it. I feel bad for a- Really? Okay, I'm here, just like you asked. H here What's this? It's a bento, stupid. You made me lunch? Don't get the wrong idea. I didn't make it for you. I just made too much food this morning. So you can have the extras. Oh, cool. Thanks a lot. Just shut up and eat it. approached me and started flirting with me. He was really creepy and gross, and I wasn't interested in him at all. 
It took forever to make him leave me alone. The next day, I started getting text messages from him, even though I never gave him my phone number. And the worst part is, he keeps texting me pictures that he's taken of me. It's like he's just following me around and snapping photos all day. You've got a stalker? Oh my god, that's horrible. You need to tell the police before he does something bad. No, I can't do that. He told me that if I go to the police, he'll... He'll... What? What will he do? I... I don't want to tell you, but... But calling the police is not an option. What is it? Is he blackmailing you? Are you hiding some kind of secret? No, it's nothing like that. Osana, I try to avoid talking about this, but I'm actually very strong. If you tell me who is doing this to you, I'll stop them. What? No, I don't want you to get involved. Look, I appreciate your concern, but please, just let me deal with this myself. If you say so, but now I'm really worried. You're the one who wanted to meet me? Your note said that you wanted to talk about... blackmail? Yes. I know that you have a stalker. And I know that he's blackmailing you. No, you've got the wrong idea. I mean... Yeah, someone is stalking me, but... He's not blackmailing me. Then... Why don't you call the police? He's... He's got a... He's got a hostage. He's threatening to harm them if I go to the cops. What? Who is being held hostage? I know you're not going to be able to take me seriously after you hear this. It's my cat. My pet cat. He kidnapped her, and he said he's going to kill her if I call the police. He says that if I want my cat back, I have to go to his house. But I know that if I step foot inside of his home, he won't let me leave. Has he given you his address? Well, yes, but... Tell me where he lives. Why? What are you planning to do? I'm going to rescue your cat. What? Don't try it! He's a dangerous person! So am I. You don't know what you're getting yourself into! Just hand over his address and let me handle it. Fine. I just want this horrible experience to end, one way or another. I'll text you his address. Thank you. But don't blame me if you get hurt. And don't let anything happen to my cat! Don't worry. Leave it to me. Did I put that cake mix? Hmm, I think I'll add some extra frosting. Uh, I hope we're not out of vegetable oil. Oh, my love, my queen, my goddess. I knew you were real. I knew you existed somewhere in the real world. I knew we'd finally be together one day. That girl is the conduit. The way you will enter this world. If she dyes her hair and wears the right clothing, I'll be able to hold you at last. It's really going to happen. You will be mine. 
You will belong to me. I will possess you. I will own all of you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. With... God! That's my cat! I can't believe it! You, you really rescued her! Now I can finally report that scumbag to the police! I need to return your cat. And I need to have an important discussion with you. But it's too late at night right now. Please meet me at my house before school tomorrow. I will! And one last time. Thank you. You have a nice place, Yanchan. Thanks. Where are your parents? Overseas. So you take care of yourself? That must be hard. I manage. I want to thank you again for rescuing my cat and saving me from that stalker. That was a horrible experience. I'm so glad it's all over. The tea is ready. I'll be right back. Feel free to keep talking. I can't imagine what it's like to become obsessed with someone after meeting them for the first time. It doesn't make any sense. I'm shocked that there are people in this world who would actually be willing to harm a cat just to get what they want. That's insane! He said he loved me, but I don't think it was love. It was just a sick, twisted obsession that he believed was love. It makes me feel sick. But starting today, I won't have to worry about it anymore. It's all thanks to you. Here's your tea. Thank you. Oh, I just realized I've been rambling this entire time. You said you had something important to tell me, right? Yes. It's about the boy from Class 3, too. The boy you have a crush on. H huh? I don't have a crush on him. He's just my childhood friend, that's all. I, I don't have feelings for him at all. If that's true, then you wouldn't mind if I confessed my love to him, would you? Huh? Confess your... love? Are you saying that you have feelings for him? Yes. Deep feelings. I've never felt this way about anyone before. And I can't bear the thought of seeing him with anyone else. I know that you love him, and I know that this is a selfish request, but please, don't take him away from me. Let me try to win his heart. You got me. It's true. I do have feelings for him. But after everything you've done for me, I could never take someone away from you. Okay. I'll do as you've asked. I'll stay away from him. Thank you. But you'd better take really good care of him, okay? Don't worry. I will. Sana. <sighs> um, excuse me? 
me? <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that you seem quite sad about something. Would you like to talk about it? Huh? Um, have we met before? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Amai Odiaka. We go to the same school. I'm sorry if it's strange that I approached you so suddenly. <laughs> when I see a sad face, I can't help but try to make things better. So, what's wrong? My childhood friend, Osana. She doesn't seem interested in spending time with me anymore. She tells me that I haven't done anything wrong, but I don't believe her. I can tell something important happened, but she won't talk about it. It's heating me up inside. Uh, oh, I... I'm so sorry to hear about that. I... I, I can't imagine what that must be like. Hey, it's not much, but maybe this will take your mind off of it for a moment? Oh. Um. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Take one. Mmm. It's good. <laughs> of course. Nobody makes better pastries than my mom and dad. Actually, I'm heading to my parents' bakery right now. Would you like to come with me? It'll take your mind off of things for a while. Oh. No, it's okay. I wouldn't want to be a bother. It wouldn't be a bother at all! If I just leave you here, I'll worry about you. <laughs> well, I guess it would be better than moping around. Okay. Sure. I'll come with you. Then let's get going! You're safe now. Congratulations on eliminating Osana-chan. I didn't expect you to get rid of her that way, but I suppose it works. Disappointed? Were you hoping to see something more violent? Oh, disappointed wouldn't be the right word. Just... Surprised, that's all. But that's not why I'm contacting you today. I've learned something that I think you'd like to be aware of. Take a look at this. Who is she? Her name is Amai Odayaka. She's the leader of the cooking club at Academy, and she's been getting quite cozy with your senpai lately. She's fallen for him. Hard. She's quite enamored with the cherry tree myth, so I'm pretty sure she'll be confessing to him this Friday. Rotten luck, huh? Right after saving Senpai from Osana, another girl shows up to steal him from you. Stop playing games. No games. It's simple. I want to see Amai suffer, and I think you're the best person for the job. That's all. Is that really what this is all about? It's a bit more complex than that. But let's keep things simple for now. Remember, you have until Friday to deal with your new rival. Eliminate her, or Senpai will never belong to you. He already belongs to me. He just doesn't know it yet.
Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for setting aside the time to take this call. I know that you're a busy man. No, no, there haven't been any complications. I just wanted to confirm that I've been following your instructions properly. I'm glad to hear it. Are you satisfied with how events are unfolding? Ah, oh, that's good to hear, sir. I must confess, I'm still worried about the students. Acceptable casualties? Necessary sacrifices? The price of progress? I see, sir. I wish I could view it from your perspective, but the thought of bloodshed in my school still makes me quite uncomfortable. No, no, of course not, sir. I'll, I'll continue doing precisely as you've asked. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. I'll keep you informed of any noteworthy developments. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Psycho.